Hi there, it's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thank you for joining me today for our Wednesday Facebook Live. Um, happy Wednesday. Let's just get over this hump day and uh, I think we'll all be good. Um, today I have a really simple and so adorable project for you that I wanted to share. And it is something that literally we can all do together right now. All you have to do is grab a piece of um, cardstock 11 by eight and a half and um, I'll show you how we can make this adorable this is this is what we're gonna a version of this we're going to be making today um, we're going to do a, put a little bit of a holiday spin on it and we're gonna be doing um, I hope that's the right way um, we're gonna be able to do uh, do this right here I'm telling you you can just make the frame just grab a piece of paper and a card piece of cardstock and um, we can put this together and you can go ahead and um, fill it in and use whatever stamp set you want. So, but before we start, let me um, just make sure I'm in the right place. Like, you know, I always have to do because there have been times when I've been upside down. Um, okay. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Uh, let me share it over into our um, our VIC group so then people that don't have to be going back and forth they can see it right there oh, I have to say this is getting easier now um, to share this I never could get that straight before okay so we are good um, if you're here with me live just pop in say hi um, or if you're watching it from uh, on the replay that's fine too uh, before we start let me do some business um, I'm still waiting for Sharon Galesniak to um, PM me with her uh, her address so I can send her um, my gift card box of, of no cards from the for <coughs> excuse me forever greenery suite um, I didn't hear from her, but she was the one that won the prize patrol last week for sharing up. Uh, I think it was two weeks prior to that. So I'll give it one more week, Lisa, uh, Sharon. So let me um, let me know your address so that I can um, send this to you because I, I appreciate you sharing and I want I want to be able to um, give you the prize patrol for that. Um, last week's prize patrol goes to Linda Brady, Linda Knight Brady. So Linda, I don't think I have yours either. So if you could um, PM me your um, address, then I will be able to uh, send this to you. This was the um, Joyful Holly uh, stamp set that I'll get out in the mail to you today um, or as soon as I get your address. Um, I forgot to pull what my prize patrol was for today. Sorry, I was rushing. Um, but it's going to be a full pack of DSP, of the Christmas DSP. And it is retired, but it was from that uh, snowman suite last, um, last season. And although the, although the stamp set and the um, punch, the snowman builder punch, is still available, this was just the cutest um, DSP that ever was for Christmas. So it had just such cute uh, little images on there. So that's what it'll be. I'll cut it into six by sixes so that I can get it into an envelope for you. So anyone who shares next week, I will pull the name for that and let you know um, and get that out to you, okay? But if I could just hear back from Sharon and Linda, that would be great, make my day. Okay, so um, I see we have a few people on. That makes me happy. Hi, everybody. Good morning from Wisconsin, oh boy. Um, okay, we're gonna do this. Now, um, I'll tell you what we need. Before I start, let me just give you a little sneak peek into the, um, the Curvy Celebrations um, uh, promotion or uh, sale that's going on that will be available on Tuesday, November 3rd. And um, I did a little video on it last week, so you can check that out on YouTube. But I wanted to share with you some of the products, uh, projects that I made with those products. So it's, um, some of it is only available until, uh, until the, the January catalog comes out. The other stamp set is, will be in the, uh, so it's like a sneak peek into the, the January catalog. So it will be in there. 
So our January catalog now, everything has changed. That one is from January to June. So that's a good thing. It, la it will last longer. It's not just like a, um, you know, the, the celebration catalog where it's just, you know, a few months. So anyway, let, I'll have to turn you down before I, um, hi Jan, before I turn you, before I can show you my projects. And then we're gonna get started right away on um, making this adorable frame. And I'm telling you, it's just the, the quickest thing to put together. And I'll show you what, what we need for it. So you can have everything there. And if you can do it along with me, that'd be even more perfect. All right, let me put you, show, um, point you down and um, just, you know, close your eyes for a second, okay? So I can do this. And let's see if I can get you down close enough. All right. And let me know if that's not straight either. Hi, Kim. Good morning. All right. So let me start with, um, these are the stamp sets from that Kirby celebration. And um, it will all be, you know, it'll all be available on November 3rd. And it's, it, come, it has a Christmas set and it has a, just a regular set. So literally this will be used all year long. That's the, they're both uh, photopolymer. And this, these are the dies, and this is what makes it so cool. These curvy dies and uh, are just so much fun to work with. It has a little bit of a, a of a learning curve, but so that's why I went over it in my video just to um, let you know which you just need to remember which one is um, if you want your little slopes to be going up or down, and that this is the cutting edge on that. So you just have to remember that. Um, but let me show you some of these adorable projects that I made with that. I could have, I could have made more. I wanted to make more. Um, okay, so this is this is one I used both of these, and like, and I explained it in the video how you get the, um, you know, the the slope to go or the dots to go either on top or on the bottom. This was another one I made, so simple, just made it out of the um, the plaid. Uh, plaid tidings but this is a stamp that and you can manipulate it so that it's in the exact um, angle of the curve so that's what I loved about it and that's what made it so fun and then you can add that in there too this was another one I made this was just for the um, out of the regular one quite curvy and you like I said I, I just had fun manipulating that here's another one. Oh, I think this is still in plastic I hope you can still see it um, just a regular thinking of you day makes my day card. So, I mean, those, these are just things that you will use all year and it's just so fun to do that. So I hope you'll, um, look, check out the video and this way, um, you're prepared for, um, for when it becomes available next week on Tuesday and, uh, you still have plenty of time to get it and then you'll be able to get your, um, your uh christmas you know holiday cards done if you were going to be doing that okay this is what we're going to need for today's project and it's not much we will need one piece of cardstock um regular eight and a half by by uh 11 okay and i'm gonna do i did some of the scoring i'm gonna uh, save the other half to show you so that you can do it too so you'll need a scoring board so you can use your trimmer, you can use the big um, simply scored board, whatever you want, but that's really the only thing that we need to do is we're going to be scoring this. Everything else is just gonna fit right into place. Um, we're going to need some adhesive, like strong adhesive. So for some of, so you could use either, if you have the um, tear and tape, that's what I would recommend or I tried to see if the Stamp and Seal Plus worked as well, and it did, actually. So um, that's what I'm gonna use today because it, it just makes it go a little quicker. But if this is what you have, use this. And there will be just one little spot that I'll explain that we'll need to do, have a little bit of liquid glue. Um, not a lot, but, and you'll, you'll understand it when I show you, um, you know, why we need it just in that one spot. It's just gonna be to like, um, just make sure these corners sit down really nicely. Okay, 
So I had done my stamping because that wasn't what, you know, this was pretty much all about. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you knew how to make this, um, this beautiful frame. So I, this is the first one I made. And um, so, but I thought I, we would make a little, put a little holiday spin to it. So this is the one that we're going to be making today. Okay. All right. So you have your, and let me know if you're doing it, um, with me and I'll just do it slow and I'll just do it step by step. But otherwise you could always go back to the replay. So what I did here is um, I already did this side, so just forget that, but let's make, what we're going to be doing is on all four sides. All you have to remember is one half an inch. So I'm going to score it just at one half an inch, up and down, four times. So it's one half, it's one, it's one and a half, and it's two. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do the other side. This is just to show you, but I did it on all four sides, but we're just gonna take the time to do it on um, two sides today. I mean, I've already done it on, on the other two. Okay, so one half, one, one and a half, and two. Okay, that's it for now. We are gonna need to do a little bit more scoring in just a second. First, well now I want to um, really be careful about uh, folding and burnishing because you want these to be really nice and tight. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna go back over it with my phone folder. It will help in the, um, when you're just putting the frame together, the, the angles. And why not? Why not just make it easy on yourself and use the tools that we have my dad used to say, there's a tool for everything, and it has to be the right tool. And he had just about all of them. All right, so we can go ahead and do that. Is anybody trying to do this with me? Let's see. All right. And, all right. That's that side. So this again, and now I've already done these other two. Oops, I got messy on that one. I better use this. No, nope, that's not right. Oh, it doesn't look like I scored this very good. All right, well, we're going to be cutting off these edges anyway, so. You're gonna get the idea here. Okay. One more side and we'll be good. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have all four pieces. Now, we have all four corners. What we're going to do now is just clip off the four corners. All four. It's a little hard to see. I probably should have used a, um, a lighter piece of cardboard, uh, cardstock, but you'll see how easy it comes together. My lighting here. And if you hear noise in the background, that is because um, they finally sold the lot next to me, and uh, so they're putting their brand new house up, which is great, so I don't have to look at a pile of dirt that I've been looking at since we moved in. Okay, so now, before we do any more cutting, what we're going to do here is bring back our trimmer, just for the scoreboard, and what we're gonna do is take just two opposite ends. I use the short ends. You could use these if you want, but I think it'll, it'll turn out the same. 
And the reason I'm doing this now is I want to just take this back to the half inch mark. See where I have it here? And I'm not cutting, I'm still just scoring to that edge. It just gives me an idea of where I want to cut because I'm only cutting into these first two squares on either side. Okay, so just do that and um, it's, it's just to, to um, give you a little marker so you know where to cut. Okay, so I think I was off here, but I'm just going to go up there for the second one. And then this looks a little off on the bottom. It must have been when I scored it wrong, but I got the idea. See, I just wanted to make an indentation there. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little scissors and I'm just going to cut in on those two squares and then I'm gonna angle the third one. So you cut in on two and angle out that third one. In on two and angle. Okay, do the same thing over here. And if you could, you probably could have just winged it and did your your half an inch mark. You didn't really need to do that, but um, I'm not good with making straight lines or cutting, which is silly, but okay. So now this is how it's going to work. It's going to just fold in on each other. See, just like that. So before we do that, let's take your inside um, DSP layer. And this is just um, three and a half by six, I believe. And that's really the only measurement that you're gonna need to know. So, um, and you could make it longer or shorter or whatever. I just put that in um, to, and you're just gonna center it in here because it's gonna fold over on itself. And any beautiful DSP would work fine. Okay, so that's all we have to do for that. So when this is gonna come over, it's gonna come over like right in there and it's going to line up, okay? So now what we're gonna do, and this is where the um, Stamp and Seal Plus comes in, or your tear and tape, but what you're going to do is put it on, since these are going to fold over like this, you wanna put it on the outside of these two um, rim layers or rectangles. And let me make sure I'm not going over here. Because like I said, it's hard to see brown on brown. All right. Come on. Okay, that's on that side. I'll do this other side. And The stamp and seal does seem to need a little help after each run through, but it's worth it um, because it does it does stick so nicely. Okay, so what you're going to do here is just pretty much roll it until this um, adhesive, the one that the side that has the adhesive, is going to just fit nice and flat right down there. Okay, and you can press down a little bit here to make sure. Okay, if you can fit your finger in there, do that. Okay, same thing on this side. Just roll it till that last piece makes sort of a, um, a tubular uh, layer right there. Okay, so there we go for that. Now, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're going to put our adhesive, the strong adhesive here. But before we turn it in, and it's gonna work the same way, it's going to just fold over on itself and tuck in between here. But because I want this to have a nice tight um, fit with these angles, this is where I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of liquid glue. And the liquid glue and me don't really get along. I end up getting it everywhere, but um, I think it's important to use it here because you don't want it to, you want it to look as finished as you can. So this is gonna go here. So I'm just gonna put it on these two angle side, sides right here. Whoop, 
see, that's too much. So let me share some over here. Okay, that should be good enough. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to roll it till it's just gonna fit right inside there. And now that I have my liquid glue just on those angle pieces, I'm just gonna hold it for just a second. Okay. And you can see it's just coming, it's just coming to life right there. All right, do the same thing on this side. Seal plus on the outside and the little bit of glue. Say it again, come on. Okay. All right, same thing again. This is our last time. And you just roll it in until it's flat. Okay, and then, oops, come on. And then I'm going to just give myself, give it a little, whoop, a little press here on the corners. Just to give it a little help to keep it in there. And, and that's it. I mean, isn't that beautiful? And it doesn't get, it doesn't get any easier than that. I love this. All right, I could give it a little bit more time, but I'm gonna scoot on because of the video and um, make sure that that's in, that these, seems like my, my adhesive, that was my problem. I wasn't really getting the adhesive to stick. So just give it a little zhuzh until you can, until you're happy with it. Okay, all right. Thanks, Meg. Okay, so that's it. Now all we have to do is decorate it. I don't know why this is not sticking. Um, and you can do whatever you did, for the, whatever you want. For this one, I just love, you know, I love that love of leaves um, bundle. And I just used the dies here and, um, and, and uh, die cut them. And then I just used a little uh, sponge dauber to add some extra um, ink to the outside and um, just layered them on there. I mean, it just it just kind of makes itself. So for this one though, I wanted to be able to um, just make it a little bit a little bit more holiday-ish, even though my sentiment is still just going to say um, is just thinking of you. But it's the same. I, I'm doing a, something just a little bit different, and instead of having my two trees in the background, I thought I would just do one and do the solid image to make it more look more like a um, a, uh, a shadow, and then I can still add my um, my what's my little my little hill here. I can add that in there. I think I may have to trim that just a bit to get in there which is not a problem. And that's, um, this one comes with its own, I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't get that to stick. I wonder if I use, if I didn't use the plus, I don't know, but it's having a hard time not sticking. But okay, we're going to just move on as if it is sticking. These work perfectly, of course. Um, all right, so let's just put, my tree down here. I'm going to put the, um, it is going to be down low because I didn't want my hill to be, um, you know, in the middle of the board here. And then we can put this guy on top. I'll put him up with dimensionals. And I don't have any big ones here with me, do I? Oh, all right. So let's just take these foam adhesive sheets. You know I love these. And this was a scrap that I used. I'm gonna pop this baby right on top, just off to the side a little bit, just so we can see the shadow. And then I'll put this one on with um, dimensionals too, so that it will go up on top. Okay. And we're good to go here. You can you can see that you can do this with anything. You could this would make a beautiful Mother's Day gift, um, Father's Day, anything, any any um, any 
way to make a, a card special for somebody that you're giving it to. And I think I put a little bit of, um, all right, this is bugging me. Why are you not sticking? Come on. Come on. All right. Oh my goodness. Now I'm pressing too hard. Okay. So what I did was I took a little bit of, um, oh my. Gentle, 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 gentle. Okay. So I took a little bit of my uh, Wink of Stella and I'm putting that on my tree just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of sparkle to add. Okay. All right, that's good enough. And then I have my sentiment. Well, I can wait on that, putting that on here. I think I, I put this one on with dimensionals also. And then I just want to show you what I did with the, um, the ribbon of the, um, the, it was called the Early Espresso Faux, um, oh, I don't know if it's faux leather, what oh, I think I, oh, uh, faux suede trim. And um, I'm just gonna put that right on there. I can add a little bit of bling to that later. Okay, um, so for the, for the ribbon, what I did was I took it, I don't know, to me it was a little, um, I really liked it, but it was a little stiff to, to make a little bow out of it. So what I did here was I just took a strand of that and I just whoop, zipped it right down the middle and um, made it half the width, which I do a lot sometimes to, um, <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to hold this here the whole time. Okay, all right, you don't wanna cooperate today. Okay, so that's all I did was I just took the full ribbon and I just sliced it right down the middle just to give it a little bit of, um, just to make it easier to make, to make the bow and to give it a little bit more rustic feel if I could add the, the linen trim with it, which I do like the, um, the way it, it uh, frays and actually I, I try to make it fray a little bit more also. All right, let's see if we can make this a little more even. Okay, and then I'll put a glue dot on here to get that on. Oh, wrong side. Come on. And you can put that right there or anywhere. But there you go. Aside from this one thing giving me a hard time, which I don't know what I did wrong here, but you got the idea. You can see how unbelievably um, easy it was to put that together with one sheet of cardstock. That's all we needed. And, um, and then we're good for that. So I hope you'll give it a try. Let me see if I can bring it back up. How's that? Okay. Whoop. There you go. Okay, am I backwards? I think I am backwards now. Okay, I think that's better. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you'll take away a little bit of this and try it for, it could be for a holiday, birthday, any, any kind of special occasion. You just wanna make a card and make it a little bit special, um, more special than what it already is. So thanks again for joining me today. Um, if you share the video, like I said, last, uh, next week we'll have the DSP that I'll, I'll um, crop up and, and I'll be giving that out. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, at, you put them here or um, if you're watching the replay, just write replay so that I know that you did, um, you did catch us at some point today. Thanks again. I hope you have a great day and um, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.